Hi, and welcome to a new video on ImageR. Today we will talk about the advanced settings on ImageR, which are really helpful to get perfect results. I will show you how I prepare different images, so you understand what we are looking for. Let's go! First, let's start with the dark bridge here. I will show the resize process only on this particular images, on the other images I did exactly the same. I will also use different algorithms, and I do the advanced settings always after material, so I can see the dithering changes. On this image I will use the CO2-2 algorithm. Since the image is very dark, my first step is the auto adjustment, which can be used on very bright or very dark images, like here. As you see, the image is now way brighter than before, but I am not happy with all these harsh details. To make the image smoother, I will use the denoise function. The input should be on 30 for nearly every image, since it's mostly the perfect value. If it is too smooth, you can decrease the amount, I wouldn't recommend to increase at all. As you see for example on the wood handling of the bridge, it is way smoother now, also the ground has not these harsh details anymore. If you zoomed in and moved the image, you can click on reset position to bring it back to normal. Now we can preview the image on our material with the preview function underneath the main buttons. Looks already pretty good, but I think it is still too dark. So I will increase now the gamma value to make dark pixels brighter, but leave the white pixels on the same brightness as before. If you preview it now again and wait till the image is loaded, you will see it is now a little brighter. I am happy with this and will start with the next image. The white horse is pretty much the opposite as before. Most details are way too light, so we won't see them well on our engraving. On this image I will use the Norton Wood algorithm. Also on this image I will start with the auto adjustment, to make the details more visible. Now I will increase the brightness a little. My focus is right now on the back of the horse, since in my opinion it should be the brightest area on this image. I will increase it again, so it gets some areas with no pixels at all, but the shape of the horse should be still visible. Now, I will increase the gamma value, so the horse's face gets lighter, and don't have that much black in it. On the preview you see, that the building in the back is still pretty visible, which is good. We don't want to lose this detail. I am happy with it, and will start with the next image. On this car you can see this great clouds, which could be difficult to engrave properly. I will use the CO2 algorithm for this image. First, I will decrease the gamma value, to make white pixels darker, but leaving the black pixels the same. I will decrease the contrast, to make the black areas less harsh. I will also decrease the brightness, so there's not too much difference between the whites and blacks anymore especially on the clouds. Unfortunately the car looks now too grayish, so I will change the brightness nearly back to normal. We have some weird artifacts on the clouds, especially in these area. Also they look too harsh, and not really cloudy. We can fix that pretty easy with the denoise function. As you see, we have now some to white spots in the clouds, so the brightness decrease before wasn't that wrong. Let's do it again. Now we have to denoise again, to fix the artifacts again. Looks good, but the whole image is a little too dark now. We can increase the gamma value, to make the whites more white again. Since this will also create artifacts, you guessed it, denoise. Now I am pretty satisfied, let's check the preview. Looks perfect to me, so let's move on. On this girl I will use the Martian algorithm. There's not much to do. The only issue is the shirt, it is too dark for me. Since it is the darkest area on the image, we can fix it by increasing gamma adjustment to leave the other things like they already are. Now we have some nice details on the shirt as well. 
Let's check the preview. I love the Martian algorithm. It's mostly perfect for my images. So, let's move to the next one. For the dog I will use the CO2-2 algorithm. For me, there are too many dark spots on the dog, so I will increase the gamma value. Also, I will increase the image brightness, but not too much. I don't want to lose the details on his chest. Next I will smooth the image, with denoising it. Probably decrease the brightness a little, so we don't miss the hair on his chest. Since we still lost details on the chest, I will decrease the brightness a lot and work with gamma adjustment again. Let's check the preview. Nice, we have some great contrast between the dog and the pillow, no details are missing, and the dark spots are fixed as well. Next one is pretty difficult. As you see the skull is extremely dark, with nearly no details. Some images have details, but you can't see it yet, let me show you. I will crop first, because I don't need the completely black areas. Then I will do a quick resize to my preferred size. I will use the CO2-2 algorithm. Next, we will run the auto adjustment to make hidden details visible. Also increase gamma, to make the side of the skull brighter, but not changing the whites in the image. Now we can see some cracks etc on the head, which we haven't seen before that well. I am increasing the contrast a little, to make the cracks darker. Also, I will increase the brightness, and try to don't lose any details on his forehead. To get rid of the harsh scratches on the table etc. I will run the denoise function. Let's check the preview. Looks good to me, probably a little brighter with increasing gamma, but I guess it will engrave well like that anyways. The last image we will prepare is this high key photography. I will use again the CO2-2 algorithm, and my goal is to show you, you can't get details if there aren't any. As you see, the cheek has on one side exactly the same color as the background. But we will try to make the best out of it. I will run the auto adjustment, to make any details more visible, which we have here. That's basically all I would do here. Let's check the preview. Beautiful, I would leave it like this. Really like here eyes and the lip details. So, I hope this, way too long and complicated video was helpful. Best way is to play around with these settings, and try the same image with different adjustments, to get a feeling for it. Thanks for watching, please subscribe our channel and like this video. I wish you a great day, and bye.